What's up YouTube, Mudcat here. Uh, first chance I've had to get out on an extended ride on my bike since I got it back from the dealer. And uh, everything is going great. I, uh, we've had some cold weather the last few days I've been working and I've, uh, I went out and started in the mornings and 35 degrees and it started up no issues at all um, the no no codes no nothing just perfect and uh, so today it's real good runs good it seems really seems like a different bike to be honest and um, i'm happy finally caused me a lot of stress there for a while 12 weeks this has been going on last time I had good luck with this bike was uh, after the first week in November I got back from the loose nut bill sport ride and it turned cold and that's when I started having trouble with it and I had no start issues and if it did start it would throw handful of codes my adaptive ride height wouldn't work my ride modes wouldn't work a couple times the ABS light stayed lit and uh, overall just just a crap show so uh, it's been to the dealer I took it three times the third time I got it back uh, They had done the starter clutch upgrade and uh, I noticed when I got it home my skid plate was full of oil. It wouldn't start, had to put the jump box on it. I mean, when I got it home every time it wouldn't start. And yes, I've been putting it in transport mode. <laughs> and the key stays on the bike anyway, so uh, not a big deal. And uh, the fob, I mean, stays with the bike. So, uh, I uh, got it home that third time with the oil in the skid plan from having the starter clutch upgrade and I pull it in the shop and I'm just sitting there looking at it disgusted and I pulled the dipstick on it and the dipstick barely had any oil on it. So I... Uh, got on the Facebook pages and the groups people that had had the TSB done that I just had completed they uh, everybody said that yeah they had oil charged to their work order when they had the same work done and you know three quarts three quarts four quarts four quarts in a filter three quarts and uh, my work order had none charged to it so I called the dealer, the dealer said, the uh, service manager said they didn't need to drain the oil out when they did that TSB. That's a lie. So I knew it was. So he just flat out lied to me. Um, pissed me off. And uh, so I, I bought an oil change kit, changed oil in it. I saved every drop of oil out of it, drained it out of the filter. And... Um, Drained it out of the filter and you can see here what I got. It was short. I took two ounces out, sent it off to an oil sample because it had 12,600 miles on it. I've just done an oil sample at like 10,000 miles. So I want to see if there's any damage because more than likely there wasn't. But if I would have rode it home, I would have had damage because uh, once I got the oil changed in it, I took it for a ride, the bike overheated. So, uh, it was running hot, 240. I got off, felt the radiator hoses, they were cold. So, they did not uh, bleed the system, didn't burp it, obviously. So, I uh, got some antifreeze, Harley Davidson antifreeze, 26 bucks for a quart of antifreeze, put almost a whole quart in it. 
going through the process of bleeding the uh, system which they did not do which they should have done whenever they got it put back together and uh, so that's why my service department at my dealer is a is piss poor uh, I like my salesman really a good guy man it puts me in an awkward situation and uh, but I will never go back to that service department again I don't know about the dealership but I'll never go back to the service department again I uh, called Harley Davidson with my case number and they put me on the phone or actually a guy called me back by the name of Mike Johnson he talked me to talked me into taking it back again and he was going to work with it and uh, do the work to get get me satisfied he assured me i would be satisfied whenever they got done working on my bike and uh, i of course asked him what would happen if i wasn't he said they had he said i would be satisfied assured me that he said but they had gone as far as to um, swap bikes out buy them back and so we were on the same page so i took it back to the so they come and got it again took it back they had it for a week called me said it was done brought it back and uh, everything seems to be fine it's not overheated the oil was still full of course it should have been what i was told by mike johnson was that they uh, pulled every electrical connection apart on the bike they changed the position of a ground on the motor checked every pins for correct um, mapping on it make sure they was going into the the right ones they found two that were swapped they had one pin that was not seated into the molex connector correctly and uh, this come from Harley not from my dealer and uh, they got that fixed and everything has been doing very well no issues whatsoever so uh, I hope it's going to be good continue it seems to be I do like the bike I enjoy the heck out of it it runs like a top so fun to ride and uh, I just hope it continues to be right but I'm down here in the Shawnee National Forest today uh, 15th of February it's 69 degrees out and beautiful so uh, don't have those days in southern Illinois southern Indiana that much I've already ran one tank of gas through it since it's been back Again, no issues. Happy as can be with it now. I want to put uh, put those issues behind me. Get on to riding the bike. Down here at Glen O'Jones Lake. And that's all I got for you people, man. Thanks for uh, watching the videos. Thanks for, to the new sub subscribers. And uh, I'll be having some travel videos out. Different places I go. And uh, So tune in. Hope I don't have any more trouble issues with the bike. But you never know. I'm going to get out of here. You guys be safe out there. Have a blessed day. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Mudcat is out.